Welcome to Daily Action Picks. I'm Mike Calabrese, and this is my top play for the NIT semifinal on Tuesday being held at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Xavier and St. Bonaventure both were left for dead at separate points in the season, only to get hot and reach the semifinals here in the NIT. Xavier's done it by beating Cleveland State, then vanquishing a pair of SEC also rans in Florida and Vanderbilt on their way. But here's the thing, the Musketeers have just been a different team at the Cintas Center. All three of those wins came at home, and they finished the year 16-5 and five straight up on their home floor. When it transfers over to neutral sites and the road, though, they were 5-8 and eight straight up and against the spread. And my biggest concern here is their shooting. Just not a very good shooting team, 149th in shooting efficiency. And during this NIT run, they've really taken advantage of some pretty weak defenses. Cleveland State 231st in adjusted defense according to Ken Palm, Florida checking in 80th, and Vanderbilt 130th. In Big East play, when they did face quality defenses, top 60 according to Ken Palm, they went 2-8 and eight straight up. Those were in their 10 games against Seton Hall, Nova, UConn, Marquette, and Providence. So here comes St. Bonaventure laying two at the world's most famous arena, and I like the Bonnies here a lot. They've won 11 of their last 13 straight up. They've won all three of their NIT games on the road against high majors, and they've held their last five opponents to 68 points or less. Mark Schmidt's team gives me real consistency, arguably the most consistent lineup in all of college basketball. Their starting lineup, and their starters in particular, play 91% of available minutes, and they're all seniors. So I know who's going to be making the plays for the Bonnies. Oshun Oshunayi is one of the best rim defenders at the mid-major level in the history of college basketball, but it's really been his offensive contributions down the stretch that made the difference for the Bonnies. Not only has he been upping his scoring into the, the mid-teens, but also since early February, he's shooting 70% from the floor, and that kind of efficiency is really what they need to push this thing over the top. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Road Warriors here, playing at MSG, laying the two points against Xavier.